Hi sisters, it's Jake here. And I'm back with another video. Sure, I feel like I'm going to plateau soon and I'm going to be stuck at 22,000 subscribers for the rest of my existence. But honestly, that's not a bad thing. I've got 22,000 people who are so cool, who I guess rock my socks? And some of them watch my videos. So thank you for that. Today's video is sponsored by my patrons. I added two new tiers. You better go check them out. One of the tiers you get a monthly video from me saying, hi, thank you, you rock. And for the highest tier, I carry around a Polaroid camera with me everywhere I go, and I will mail you a signed Polaroid every month for supporting me, the Jakester! Before I get started in this video, I understand that my hair looks a little funky, slash funny, slash quirky, okay? I need to get a haircut, but Hannah says, I love your long hair, I love your long hair, and I just don't know what to do with it. I could go full Riddler, but I won't. Today, we're going to be talking about someone who I love and appreciate, has been on this channel- channel- <laughs> Cut that out. Someone who's been on this channel Maybe keep that in. Someone who's been on this channel multiple times. You know him. You love him. His name is Shane Dawson. Now, I've talked about Shane Dawson's music videos. I've talked about Shane Dawson's short films. But this next short film is something that I've never seen before. It's a full promotion for his new book. He wrote a book called I Hate My Selfie. <laughs> Oh my god, 2013 humor is always top tier. But this is a short film. I don't really know what it's about. Somebody sent this to me and I thought I should talk about it. Yeah, I mean, 10 million views. Let's get into it. Honestly, I feel like nothing's going to be offensive in this. This is still on his channel. So honestly, like I'm picturing every joke to be fully politically correct and for him to not say anything that could offend anyone. Hey, here's a riddle for you. How do you get a crowd of 500 people to blow their fucking brains out simultaneously? Oh, huh. So, so I guess I, I guess I was wrong. Love how backlit he is and the contacts in his eyes are pretty shocking, honestly. I don't remember Shane Dawson looking like <laughs> this. I don't even know what to say. You know those plastic surgeons on TikTok who look like they've been shot in the face with actual cement? I said cement. There's a T on the end. Herbert. Put on a high school musical. I was in a couple musicals when I was younger. Like, I think they're pretty fun. I feel like Shane shouldn't be saying anything because he has way too many desk lamps and he has a poster on his wall of the alphabet and vowels. Hey, if we didn't think that you were already vanilla enough, let's put something that is attempting to be quirky, but just ends up reading like a poster from an elementary school. And this is interesting because I don't think that Shane's allowed within 500 feet of elementary schools. Shane Dawson, the known author. I heard he won a, like a Pulitzer for it. I don't, I don't remember what year it was, but. Every high school is known for something. Football championships, student teacher sex scandals, school shootings, and worst of all, the high school musical. Okay, hey Shane, can we chill out for a second? Student teacher sex scandals. Does happen, doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen and it's gross and disgusting. School shootings, hey, do we need to make jokes about this? I understand that this is going to be like, oh, on the nose, funny, funny, but like, do we <laughs> need to do this right now? Also, the musical is interesting because it's called Yeehaw, the musical. And I didn't know that Curtis made a musical, but it's interesting to see that him and Shane are friends. Whoever sent this in, thank you. So we're really doing this. I understand that Shane has struggled with his weight in the past, but is this the best way to go about it? Is dressing up in a suit to make it look like you're heavier than you are and make yourself basically a caricature of what you used to be, is that a good way to cope with your trauma? Uh, what are you doing? Signing us up for the musical. Duh. Can you not read? No, I just... <gasps> Wait, is it your diabetes? Is it affecting your vision? Nurse, nurse, stay with me. Remind me why you wanted to hang out again. Okay, so not funny, you know? Easy jokes, stupid. We've got Gigi Gorgeous on the other side. We got a hot lady on the other side, ready for Shane to swoon over. All of this makes me really uncomfortable. And I'm sorry to put you through this, but Shane always gets views and I, I don't know what to say. Oh, how many times are we gonna have to go over this? It's because you're fat. And you're ugly, and you make me look hotter by comparison. Oh, okay. Hey guys! <gasps> Are you guys setting up for the musical? Oh. Uh... He's not swooning over Gigi, he's swooning over this lovely lady. But the way that he swoons sounds like a baby's first sounds. Oh, uh, uh, I've had a thing for her forever. Oh, really? Aww. So 
You should go ask her out. You have literally nothing to lose. Oh, I know where this is going. Except like a shit ton of weight, obviously. Uh, uh, punchline. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, good Wish me luck. Ugh, <sighs> oh, I love that big stupid fat fuck. <laughs> oh my God, Gigi. Gigi, how did you know my nickname from high school? Um, can I ask you something? He's walking like me out of knee surgery. Okay, let's see who my competition is. Don't you mean our competition? No, I don't see any oh. people here. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so let's beep that, but we're not going to cut that shit out. So remember at the beginning of this video when I said there's going to be nothing that's politically incorrect or offensive? Sh I should have known. Shane wrote this, and of course there's going to be some R words. And I love Shane for that. The way that he just talks about other people is, is uh, really heartwarming. Good at high notes, bad at sucking dick. <laughs> How do you know that? I hooked up with her boyfriend and he told me. I was all. Honestly, I can't imagine how this is still on YouTube. You know what I mean? We've got so many different parts to it that are gross and just not funny. And Shane has deleted most of the offensive things on his channel. It's interesting to see what in his head makes it and what doesn't. R word and graphic dick sucking? Yes, please. Oh, look, there's your girlfriend. <sighs> Patty Stevens, the girl who I loved more than I loved eating slices of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving like they were pizza. I have to say something. Can we stop with like the easiest jokes in the world? You can tell that there was no effort put into this. Besides funding, right? He put his book money into this as a promotional tool, but it's like, fuck, stop, you know? The girl who I loved more than I loved eating slices of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving like they were pizza. The girl who I loved more than, insert fat joke here, right? Like it's it's so simple. And yes, Shane, we do understand that you were bigger when you were younger, but it, is this really what you want to pitch to your fans? She's so perfect for a fat girl. Go. <sighs> okay, if she's fat, then what am I? Morbidly obese. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. How sweet. Everyone shut up and look at me. <gasps> that was kind of funny. I'm okay with that. <gasps> My name is Mr. O, and I'll be directing this year's High School Musical. <laughs> That's when you clap. That's when you clap. I am better than all of you. Okay, now this is just getting fucking weird. Let's begin. <laughs> I feel bad for the Foley artist who had to mimic the sounds of squeaking floor to really emphasize the fact that Shane was once bigger. 525,000. You're fat. You're fat. What does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know if judging someone for their weight right when they step on and start singing is the way to go about judging an audition. The way to go about judging an audition is if they're Shane Dawson in prosthetics trying to sing and show off their talent that ends up being like honestly a failure. Then you kick them off the stage and say, you're Shane Dawson. You think that babies are sexy and you had sex with your cat. Nobody talks to me here. Is it because of my foreskin? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What the fuck? You suck. We cut to the audience and the poster from Shane's office is just there. She's reciting the ABCs. Snip, snip. I wish it happened. Snip, snip. I wish it happened. Oh, I'm so sexy, sexy. I know you want me, want me. You want to be me, don't you? You want to fuck me, don't you? I know. Oh my God, they found my private SoundCloud. My name is Patty Stevens, and I'll be auditioning for the lead. Hi, Patty. Hi. Hold on, I. Yeah. 
after that, it was time to see what parts we got. Did we really just spend a minute listening to this girl sing and cry? Shane, it's obvious that you want to get your CPM up, but you can do that in different ways. Make more jokes about essay and have more gags about eating, you know? And as long as I wasn't a tree or a pile of dog shit, I'd be happy. And I did it this morning because last night I got off on the wrong exit. And I just went with it because of the party. <laughs> Congratulations! I got the part! <laughs> See what I got. Wow, that's specific. Do you think you're gonna be wearing a fat suit? Pile of dog shit? What does that even mean? A week later, we started doing rehearsals. We were on the audit. Is this filmed on the GoPro? And also, you can tell that this is towards the end of the day because Shane's prosthetics are hanging on for dear life. Holy shit. In between songs, we'd hang out backstage and the conversations were a lot more sexual than I was expecting. I mean, who knew nerds were so horny? And that's how I lost my virginity to this protractor. Oh my god, protractor has that thing even fit up there? Oh, dude! She had a way about her that made her seem better than everyone else. But nobody was mad at her for that. Everyone felt like she really was better. Good, good, good. Because that, <laughs> that is what you're supposed to do. Instead of always check in on your friends, it's never check in on your friends, especially if they're quiet and sitting alone. Instead of trying, I just left her alone and didn't say anything. Until the big night. I didn't know who I felt worse for. The, show. the students who had to perform this terrible ass play. <laughs> Good. I'm not gonna say anything, but what is this, you know? Why is this video still up? Is that not offensive? Or the parents who had to watch it. Enjoy the show. Go fuck yourself. Well, somebody should. It is offensive. <laughs> Answering my own question. Is this offensive? And then I watched it and then I said, no, 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 this is made to be offensive. And that's all it is. Opening night. The moment we've trained for. Shane, are you are you wearing an undershirt? Yeah, my mom calls it my sweat catcher. You get backstage right now and you take it off. You go tell Patty to get her perfectly fat ass out here. We're going on in five minutes. I want to believe that this wasn't written into the short film, but more of a, a Freudian slip, if you will. I don't see any minorities here, but I do see a minority here. Huh, interesting. Shane, you shouldn't have. <sighs> Happened to me Patty? Hey. I was just getting ready. Sorry. Are you okay? He looks like Jack Skellington. Like we couldn't have done some touch-ups. The prosthetics could be on like, is it cake? I'm waiting for Mikey Day to come out, say some joke that doesn't hit, and then take a knife to his fucking face and see if it's cake. She wasn't fine. And I think I knew what was going on. Looking at her outfit, I could tell that she was feeling really self-conscious. Looking at her outfit, I could tell that she was pretty self-conscious. What the fuck do you mean? She's crying. <laughs> like, obviously, why would that be something written into the fucking thing? I could tell that she was really self-conscious and I'm self-conscious too, so we're meant to be. That's what the whole problem is. We're both self-conscious and nobody else is self-conscious. Shut the fuck up, Shane. You look like shit. Hey, um, do you want me to ask Wardrobe to help? How bad does it look? That's right, because if you're self-conscious about your body, the one thing that you always want is for other people to come in and try to fix what you're self-conscious about. I got so nervous last night. I ate my brother's entire birthday cake. Okay, first of all, you're not fat. Just because you ate an entire cake before you came here? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I actually have cake on my face. I'm going to continue to say this. The way that his face looks, that's not regular skin. That's not a regular skin tone. And the way that it's like crumpled up around his mouth. Like, tell me that's not fondant. I had three sheet cakes in the car. <laughs> Ooh, I can stand next to you in all the cast photos. You'll look fucking anorexic next to me. It'll be great. You're gonna stand next to me and look anorexic. Shane, is that a good thing? You have nothing to be nervous about. I mean, you're probably the best singer I've ever heard. Seriously, I'm not making that up. I heard this lady recite my poster. It went a little something like A, B, C. <laughs> you're really, really good, Patty. You know that trend where it's like, is the dress cute or is it just Kendall Jenner? Or like, is the fit cute or is she just skinny? This is like, is she a great singer or did I just listen to a girl recite the ABCs? He looks like Freddy Krueger. You gotta get out there and you gotta show those assholes what you got. Come on. His wrinkly mouth looks like a prolapsed anus and I stand by that. 
The show actually went pretty well. I mean, nobody fell, Mr. O didn't kill himself, and of course, Patty's song blew everyone away. Oh my God, yes! Is this Dua Lipa? Oh my God. Ah, the known pop song from Yeehaw the Musical. And I must say, I think I nailed my one line. Special thanks to Dolby? <laughs> what? Click here for bloopers. No way! Oh my god! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh my god, I have to check them all out. Risa Dorkin. Oh my god, pop off! General Hospital, Life in Pieces. Oh, she's killing it! Let's see what this guy's doing. Ray Donovan, Hancock, and NCIS. Crazy. <laughs> I guess Shane is boosting everyone's career. 663 Shazam. 663 too many, honestly. Oh, yes! 2100 views on how to play this. Yes! This is so exciting. Um, oh, why are you going? Who are you going away? And honestly, Shane probably made a cool million off that book release and ran away from writing books or having books be ghostwritten for him forever after taking it to the bank. I personally want to write a book about my health journey and I've started it. I'm two or three chapters in and I'm actually writing it myself, which is the, the difference between Shane and I. If anyone has any experience with book agents or publishing, let me know. With my book, I'm going to have a short film along with it based on the time that six doctors spread my ass cheeks open. That's a story for another day. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Check out my Patreon, check out my podcast. My Patreon is popping off. I post on there once a week, sometimes more than once a week. I mean, you gotta check it out. Out. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my TikTok. You're all the best. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.